Hey, what's good, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. Today, I'm going to be talking about the new movie Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. This is a remake of the old school Jumanji movie with Robin Williams. A little bit of twist to it this time. Instead of a board game, they're playing a video game. Um, these four teenagers you see right here are like the high school age. They're pretty self-explanatory. The blonde is really self-absorbed. The redhead antisocial. The jock is a jock. And the nerd is your basic nerd. Well, as they're playing this game, they get sucked into the game and they end up becoming the avatars that they chose to play with for the game. Um, some of the instances are really funny. You have uh, that blonde that we've seen that's really self-absorbed all on her phone. She turns into Jack Black. Uh, the redhead turns into the redhead we see right here. Um, the Rock, he, he is the nerd originally. And Kevin Hart plays the big jock and he's really upset because... He's short and he was tall before he uh, came into the game. Well, this movie, uh, it tries to be funny, you know, and to me, it just really failed at that. I think it suffers from the same fate that the Mummy movie with Tom Cruise had suffered from. And that's when you remake an old school comedy, you can't be as funny as the original. And in no way, shape or form is this movie even coming close to the original Jumanji. I think that they should have went a little bit dark and serious you know, like I say, with the movie The Mummy, they tried to do a comedy. Well, Brandon Fraser already did that. You, with Jumanji, you try to make a comedy. Well, Robert Williams already did that. So if you're going to remake it, give us something completely different. Give us a serious action thriller. Now, uh, the comedy in this movie fell flat to me. I didn't laugh at all. Kevin Hart, his whole shtick is old. Um, there were a few funny instances with Jack Black, you know, because he was the blonde and he turned into an old middle-aged white man. But even that got old because it's only so many dick jokes, you know, that you can take in one movie to where it's like sort of repetitive. Special effects were fine. I guess, you know, it wasn't nothing I really was obsessed with in this movie. I mean, there were some scenes that obviously looked at CGI heavy, like fake with the rhinos and everything like that. But um, all in all, this movie was I felt a waste of time. Um, you had a Nick Jonas cameo in there somewhere towards the end of the movie. He was in there for about 20 minutes. So if you're a Nick Jonas fan, I mean... I guess you can be happy to see him for a little bit of the movie. It's, you know, about a good 20, 30 minutes that he's in there. But um, again, I wouldn't waste my time with this if I was you. I think that this movie, instead of being a comedy, they should have just took it more serious and they could have got a different feeling from it. I mean, just imagine the rock in an action thriller movie in the jungle and, you know, it's all these crazy stuff happening. But no, I can't recommend you go see this. I'll give this movie a four out of 10 just because there were some cool scenes where, you know, you could laugh a little bit. But all in all, it's a waste of your time. And I would recommend you don't waste your time in seeing this movie. But anyway, that's enough of what I think. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Did you actually like this movie? You know, you think it'll be maybe it would have been better coming out in the summer or something like that. Let me know what you think. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm your boy, Dreads, and I will catch you out there in the universe.